of course, nowadays, there's a great variety of materials that a modeler can use to decorate her or his diorama or train set or whatever landscape. So I'm moving on from the light green to a darker green. And I'm just dropping this off. You really don't have to worry too much about keeping a straight line of demarcation between the types of material you're using to decorate the landscape because as in real life, what you end up with the model will be somewhat of a mixed situation. Part of this diorama, of course, is the hapless volunteer soldier, the Volkstrom soldier who ended up not doing what he was supposed to do and was subsequently hung, as happened in real life, God knows how many times. The area around the barn is another place where I'm going to use a different kind of ground covering. You don't have to worry if what you're putting on the diorama doesn't cover every square inch of it because you will be applying at least a second coat, maybe more, of the glue mixture and whatever variety of ground coverings you employ to make the scene look like what you're aiming for. Now, because this almost gravel-like material that I'm putting down needs brushing around a bit on the scene to do a better job of adhering to the glue mixture, you could use a toothbrush, you could use any kind of tool that's going to spread it. And you don't have to worry about making it an even spread even because again, you will be reapplying another layer or two of the same material to the diorama base. So now we'll let all that glue and decorating material dry, and then we'll go on to the next step. Stay tuned. Well, the glue holding down the various types of land features has dried, and it's time to go on to preparing for the second layer of glue and materials to be applied. But first, I need to remove any of the materials that have not adhered to the diorama base. And to do that, I'm using a makeup brush. So watch what happens. I'm trying to keep the materials separate from one another, in part because I can then collect and reuse those materials for the next stage of this project or any other project 
I may need them. As I finish brushing the excess of each type, I just clean off the brush in the hopes that I won't end up contaminating, if you will, one material with another. And as you can see, there are spots where nothing adhered at all. And that's why I need to do a second or maybe even possibly a third application of the glue mixture and the materials themselves. Of course, I will be adding foliage and other materials to the diorama base once these particular areas are covered to my satisfaction. So stay tuned to hear about those advancements.